Hey, what's going on, guys? SD16Guy here, aka your favorite Nerf Guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry for that little uh, spinning thing. So, as you might have remembered, I made that little update video with the me with uh, my gameplay of Unreal Tournament 3 last time. And you remembered. Bleh, you remembered that I mentioned a gaming PC, which was the UTL Mainframe V3.0, right? Well, check this out. I'm slowly turning the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the ultimate gaming PC. Well, my version. The UTL mainframe version 3.1.2. Why version 3.1.2? Because there are some, the other few versions had a few flaws in it. <laughs> And, uh, you remember I was saying it's gonna run on Linux? Well, sadly, it won't. Because I said basically that I could, I won't be able to because I saw Linux, it was a fucking chip. Pieces of shit. And I thought Linux was a gaming OS. Nope. And yeah, Red is all the rage on Alpha name for me. And I am proud of introducing you to this gaming PC. And I'm filming this, bleh, and I'm filming this via smartphone. I'm making this video before of the unboxing. And I accidentally deleted the video of the unboxing. So crap. Actually, I won't be able to make the unboxing video. It's just recording. So. Now, allow me to show you what's inside this beast. Ow! Ah, oh, shit! I'm gonna screw the screws here. And yes, that is the, uh, the, well, the, bleh! That is their glass in it, but I don't want to show you it. Because it kind of will spoil the surprise. Kind of spoil, did a little bit. But now... Introducing you to the inside of the ETL mainframe for version 3.1.2a. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is its interior. And you must be saying, wow, it's a beauty. I impressed most of the YouTube Rangers with this. And Starmies is literally jealous that my computer will just outmatch his laptop. <laughs> Alright. Let me tell you what is in the outside. This is the power supply. A Orient 850 watts. Why not 885? Because it was too expansive. Here is the main part of the mo mainframe. The motherboard. Oh, and I can just get the wire out of the way. There's no risk. This is an Astrox Z97 Pro 3. It's that bad. Uh, it's that badass. So disk, the hard drive. This is the Seagate Barracuda 2 terabytes. Yes, 2 terabytes. Oh, and I forgot to mention, for any people who likes the kind of alloy, wants to know what kind of alloy it's made of, it's made out of premium alloy choke. Must be that blue thing over there. Or it's basically the thing of a, you know, the kind of a, I don't know what the hell that is. There's the RAM card. The RAM card is a Kingston 4 gigabytes. I'm still not done yet. I'm getting the Kingston Hyper X Black. And this is going to be where the graphics card is going to be inserted. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right there. This is the plug. Get ready to learn which kind of graphics code is going to go in this bastard. 
in this bad boy. NVIDIA GTX 770 2 gigabytes with MSI Twin Frozer Cooling HOLY SHIT! As for the processor, it's powered by Intel in Core i5. And you were saying, why not Intel Core i7? Because i5 is not made for gaming, and because i7 is not made for gaming. I think. I'm not really sure. If anyone knows, tell me in the comments down below. Those are fan- and you know how big the power, power supply is? Really fucking huge. Look how huge it is! Fourteen centimeter fan! Holy shit! Oh, and N64, troll face. I don't know what the hell will go through those wires, though. I wanna know, I just don't know, maybe for decoration or something? I don't fucking know. And, um, basically it only uses SATA plugs. We all know nowadays, what the hell is SATA? You must be saying, what the hell is SATA? Those are the plugs right there. Underneath all those wires. Those are the SATA plugs. I can't show you fully correctly the, the parts inside of it. Alright, so, for the black plugs, this thing has a total of whopping 10 USB ports. Six of them are USB 3.0s. Four of them are USB 2.0s. As for the poor audio ports, surround. Five plugs. Holy shit. I can as well- oh, and I forgot. See this plug right there? I don't know if you can switch, but it's right there. There it is. This thing right there can lower the fan speed and the computer brightness. But I'm keeping the brightness at maximum. Oh, and by the way, guys. Let me show you how it is silent at minimum speed. Do you even hear it? It's quiet. This computer. It's quiet. 100%. Same with the power supply. You don't even hear it. It never overheats. Ain't that awesome. Oh, right. <laughs> Everything got off my head now. Now to show you what kind of, di of disk drive I can use this. Oh, and by the way, you must be wondering how to open it. It's like this. This is our disk drive. Or rather, disk, DVD, and Blu-ray drive. Slash burn. It can burn DVD, CD, DVD, CD-ROMs, DVD-ROMs, and Blu-rays. Holy shit. Oh, and right, I forgot to mention, the tower itself is a NZXC Phantom 410 Crafted Series Red Mid-Tower Chases. Does it look familiar to any of you guys? Who watched Chimney Swift 11? It looks like a certain Swifter box. It is. As for the box, I'll show you how big it is. Let me turn on the lights. I'll show you the, the box. Uh, let me turn on the lights and get in my bedroom. Oh, and there's the screen. It's a TV screen, believe it or not. All right, so let me show you the inside. This is the box. Holy shit, it's huge. Now, let me open it up the computer box, and oh, by the way, that's my headset's head. That's my headset. Triton Kunai. 
I think she needs to use the same, I'm not sure. This is the motherboard box. Anzoc Z97 Pro 3. Told you. The power supply. Orion 850 watts. Fully quiet. Super silent. 14 centimeter fan. 14! It's huge. With PCI Express Serial ATA, 20 plus as 4 pin, and main board 2x4. The processor Intel Core i5, i5 4460, LGA1150. McAfee offer inside. No, thank you. I don't want that. I didn't use McAfee. It's too damn heavy as I meant. It's bullshit. I use it fast. Desktop. And fun, uh, fun fact, it's a desktop one. And look at this. I can max out no in the game, no problem. Except for StarCraft 2. The RAM card as well is there, but it's different. And there's a plug for the screen. And there's a plug for the power supply. The, core, the power cord is too short. So I use another power cord. Oh, and there's the motherboard's disk. I didn't need it disk because I didn't have my, driver, my reader back then. And recognize that screen? And recognize this? Piece of shit ETL mainframe. And the screen that comes with it. The screen, however, is still operational, and I'm keeping it. Oh, and, um, hang on. There's the box for the, uh, Kingston. There's the installation guide and the warranty. I'm actually getting a HyperX Black card. Now I'm putting everything in there. I'm really excited to actually show this and uh, maybe use it at LAN ETS. I'm not sure if I'm going there because, you see, I'm kind of a rage quitter, as you know. I rage a lot in some games. I get my ass kicked and shit, and you know. And now, this has been the UTL mainframe version 3.1.2. I hope you enjoyed the tour. And as always, it's about to see about 316, signing off. Peace! Bye, guys.